Hi everybody, so with the release of DAISY 1.15 on console, PlayStation, Xbox and PC, one of the most exciting things has been the ability to spawn in objects or structures at um, places of our choice on our servers, on our private community servers, in a way that makes them look like part of the map, um, in a very simple way as well. So what I wanted to do in this video is I'm going to be going through an actu actual... Um, installation of an extra few bits onto one of my servers. We're going to be going through the request, um, firing up Daisy Editor on my local PC, um, placing the object, exporting the file, ex exporting the settings, putting those settings into a custom JSON, um, altering the uh, CFG gameplay.json putting them into a local server so we can test them whether there's th whether they work or not um adding the uh the um locations into the um map group pos uh, file all the, all that good stuff so everything you need to, need to need to know to how to do it now this will be a live walkthrough so i'm just recording this as i do it so we may be jumping around a bit but first things first let's make sure we've got our nitrado server for console or pc set up now the way that you do it and we're going through the console setup here is that you want to go to your nitrado server you want to go into the general settings and you want to make sure enable cfg gameplay.json is ticked like that and you want to tick it and you want to save the changes and you want to restart your server and the way that this works is inside your mission file there is a um there is a separate um folder called custom see there and so what we do is we put these custom uh, json files in there um, and then another file our cfg gameplay.json file that is in the root file of the directory refers to those files and then spawns in the items that are in those files now the beauty of this system is it doesn't have to be one file you can have lots of different files for different elements so let's say i do a file about adding an allotment to Skiliski Island. And then you download that file. You can simply add it to the custom folder on your console um, server, refer to it in the object spawner array line of your daisy offline. Uh, sorry, uh, the object spawner array in your CFG gameplay.json. And the game on restart will then um, spawn that item in. And then if you also add in the extra bits for the map group pause, then it will spawn. Um, loot in as well so it's very exciting very easy so next thing we need so the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure we've got a, a custom json ready to go for what we want to do so the request i received from one of the people on my private service was hey scale speeder this is a request for the xbox server 1c so it's a churner server and we want um a land mill barracks 5 building at coordinates 13005 by 10121.33. If it's too big or out of place, we can go with a LAN mill barracks three. So someone's asked me to put one of those up. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm just so we're just gonna save this as um here we go. So let's let's find out where it is first. So let's just take those coordinates and let's go to the I survive map. And what I'll do is I'll put links to all these um files and websites down below. So let's, oops, sorry doing it the wrong bit let's paste that in there okay there we go okay so so that's by berezino isn't it okay so what do they say so berezino military barracks so what we'll do we're going to save a blank file as file save as and within the custom folder of my um, local uh, server we're going to save this as Ber uh, berezino so you spell it barracks dot json let's put that in inverted commas so it saves it as that so as you can see here so on my local pc on my local laptop i've got a version of daisy a local server version of daisy set up so that we can test that so we're going to save that in the custom folder um you could save this somewhere else uh if, if you if you don't use a local um server to test things on um 
And so we've saved that now. Now, kind of ignore the fact that, that that's all wrong. We're going to be we're going to be deleting this bit uh, in a bit. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to put in the format for how this file should be formatted. And we're going to get that from Bohemia Interactive's Object Spawner page. Um, and you'll probably see it like that. And so you click on Show the Template. And basically, this file says, look, if you want to spawn in objects using a custom JSON, you need to use this format. So what we can do is we can just copy all of this. So we just copy all of that like that. So we can just copy that, put it into our text file, and paste it. OK, so what we're going to do at the end is we're going to delete this top bit. We just can use it for reference to start off with. So as you can see that the format is, it kind of says objects at the very beginning and it will say name and they're just giving us some examples here. So land, wall, gate, fence, at position, X, Y, Z. Now remember X and Z are kind of latitude and longitude roughly and Y is, is altitude, is height. And then you've got Y pitch R, which is your uh, pitch and roll. So your is rotation of the building, pitch is side to side, sorry, pitch is four to back movement and roll is side to side movement. So, so there are zero. And you can see there's a few things that we could fill in here should we want to. So let's just save that so, so we're good to go. So now we need to get these coordinates. Now unfortunately with this method you need to have the altitude. So we can't simply just go to I survive and click Control C next to somewhere and then put those coordinates in. You know, I can't simply put these coordinates in here at the top I, because we wouldn't have the correct altitude. And this is where Daisy Editor comes in incredibly um, well. And I would say, even if you've got a low powered laptop that isn't very good at playing Daisy, um, buy yourself a copy of Daisy if you haven't got it already. Excuse me, go to the Steam Workshop. And you'll want to subscribe to the Daisy Editor by Inclement Dab and his team. Um, it is a fantastic piece of kit and makes this stuff very, very useful. And again, you don't need to be able to play Daisy, you, you, you know, at like 60 frames a second. If your local laptop will play Daisy at like 10 frames a second, that's enough to use the editor. Because we don't need to, you know, because all we're doing is we're going and we're editing stuff. So, so I've got my copy of Daisy. There's Daisy Editor, and it says you've got to load in these things. So we load in those mods, and we just click play. And so what's ha happening now is this is almost like a kind of a single player version of Daisy. You don't use the Daisy Editor online. It's running locally. Um, it's going to load up the map. It's going to load up the game. It's going to load up um, a load of editing tools that we can use to spawn stuff in. If you've used the Armor 3 Zeus editor, it's a bit like that. We can't like load in AI elements. Well, we can't yet. Maybe one day we'll be able to. But we can load in um, buildings um, and structures um, and add them in. And what's really important about the Daisy editor, it then can export those details in a way that makes it very easy for us to um, import them into our custom JSON and then adding the files to our... Um, uh, map group pos file as well so they'll spawn loot because i'm a big believer of it's okay adding structures all right so we need to open the editor i want to go to channel plus i'm a big believer in that if you're going to spawn if you're going to add elements to your daisy map there's got to be a reason for people to go there sure it's going to be interesting to have something different there but if this if there's loot inside it then people are going to be interested aren't they okay so we're into the daisy editor now just wait for it to sort itself out um, we'll just be spawning stuff in and then what we can do is when it sorts itself out there we go hit m to bring the map up it's running a bit slow today for some reason Running very slow. Let's just let it do its all its business. There we go. Okay, so hit M and we want to find Berezino, don't we? It's over on the coast. That's Berezino, isn't it? Okay, so this is roughly the area where they wanted to put it. So if I just middle uh, press my middle mouse button there, let's just go back to I survive so it's so you've got that you've got the 
petrol station there and it's on this side of the road isn't it okay so let's just see let's go back so it's probably about there so we press M to come out of the map we can now have a look round this kind of starts to give us a good idea of where they want this military barracks okay so it's, so it's a good place there's there's plenty of plenty of space for something um, and it kind of it it it, mar it kind of matches the environment doesn't it we've got a road you know all this is just some grass so the next thing we want to do is I just want to go back to the um, request and then here we go so they want a land mill barracks 5 so literally I can copy that control C copy go back to the editor click in search up here control V to paste it in and there it is and then I can just drag that across <laughs> okay okay so let's just drop that in okay okay it is a bit big that isn't it let's have a look that is pretty big however we might be able to do something might be able to, let's, let's have a look let's just before we bin it let's just um play around with it so if we press shift we can spin it around so this is like the barracks you get at um, Green Mountain, isn't it? Let's put it, say, next to... Just have a look around. Let's have a look around it. Okay. Right, okay. So now, now let's get the correct height. So let's click that, press Alt, and drag it down. It needs to go back. But it needs to go a long way back, doesn't it? Probably. Let's have a look. Probably something like. A bit further, what do you reckon? Oh, okay, say about. About there. Okay, now what you can do with the day thing, I can press T, if I remember rightly. And it'll work for me. Maybe not. Press the home button. Right, there we go. So we can play as a, the character. And by, by the, the the beauty of being able to zoom in and play as a character, you can kind of have a look around, make sure everything kind of makes sense, because it's very easy to get stuff at the wrong height. Now, what's very good here, this, this particular location they've chosen um, is nice and flat. So it all kind of makes sense. I'm just going to... Uh, It all looks all right, doesn't it? If we go inside. Okay, so we've got a little bit of clipping there. So that that will be because the the ground raises up. Uh, so what we could probably do is if we come out of this so if we press alt click that if we move it up just a bit that might be too much let's go back to our character yeah it still looks silly doesn't it it's too much so let's go back in again just 
just want those stairs to be at the right height. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Let's have a look. Let's see if there's still some clipping. All right, okay. So there's not much we can do because of the way that the land changes. But I'll tell you what we might be able to do, actually. I'm wondering if the land is slightly flatter to the left. So let's... Why don't we just... If we slide her this way... And then, okay, so she needs to go back a little bit. So we did something like that. Let's have a look. Okay, we've still got clipping, haven't we? Let's just, so one of the things we could do is we could tip the building, but I'm a bit reticent to do that. What we'll do is we'll just move it up a fraction like that. And let's see, cause that you can still run in there. You can come in here, have we got any, we've got, okay. So we've got a little bit of grass in the corner, but that's fine. You could say that's just, let's just come in. There we go. Let's go out. Let's have a look round. Steps are a little bit high, but you could just say, oh, that's just the damp course is a bit high. But that looks all right, doesn't it? I think um, if we come out, it doesn't look totally out of place. Um... Yeah. It's also nicely lined up with the road. Um, you could argue that it should be a little bit further back from the road because people would be walking along here, couldn't they? Um, but that's what you kind of kind of go on for. Now, what we could do, let's just have a look round. Yeah, you can see how, how the ground rises up there, can't we? But what we're going to do, although they've only asked for this land military tent, and on the servers I've said, look, look you're only going to get um, one one structure per per request per people. Let's let's give them let's give them some other, some other stuff as well. So this is a this is land military barracks, isn't it? So what could be next to it in this empty ground? Well, I'll tell you, why don't we give them a military container? Um, there we go. So let's take that out. Let's put one there. What we'll do, let's just spin that around. Let's just make sure it's in the grass. Let's put that out the sim. Move it over a bit so it's more like that. In fact, what we're going to do, because the ground is so even, we might spin it around the other way. So press shift. Turn it around like that. Line it up with the side of the building. Bring it down like that. That's alright, isn't it? And then I tell you what, why don't we control C that, control V it there. Let's copy, let's have another one. Let's have another one there. And how about we do something clever and copy another one, bring it into the air. Oh, 
Okay, so let's press home. Let's spawn in as the, the guy. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got a bit of a... So it's not quite lined up properly, is it? So it's okay at that end. Alright, because this container needs to go down a little bit. And then... Right, okay, so let's go back into it. That container needs to go down. Is that still lined up? Let's take it to... The, if we put that there... We can now see where that one needs to go. That one needs to come down a little bit. Now we can take this one, bring that one up to say something like that. Right, let's have a look. So that's quite cool, isn't it? Something unusual. Um, and then we can go in here, we can go in that one. We can go in that one. Now, there may be a problem with stuff spawning in here. In other words, stuff might well spawn, but it might get hidden underneath the ground. Um, but, yeah. yeah. It's one of those things, isn't it? So there we go. So there we've got our, well, our four structures that we're going to spawn in for our server members. They look pretty cool, don't they? I think they're going to be quite happy with that. Um, in fact, I'll tell you what we could do. Uh, no, we'll, we'll leave it for that. We'll, we'll leave it for that now because you don't want to give yourself too much because it, get, it becomes too complicated. So let's come out of this guy and let's file save. Let's do this as, let's call this um, uh, Berezino Mill Barracks. Okay, so that's just in case something crashes. There we go. So they're good to go. So as you can see, up here on the top right hand side, that's where we've got land mill brackets, land container one, land container one, land container one. I tell you, we are going to do, we're going to do one more thing. <laughs> right, I can't resist it. We're going to do one more thing. Okay, we're going to do... Uh, uh, UH1. Wreck UH1. Right, watch this. We're going to take the UH1 wreck. Oh, come here. And we're going to put our helicopter wreck on top of here. Right, we're just going to have to make sure, make sure it lines up. So sort I of like that. Okay, so let's just spawn our guy in. What does it look like? Now, I'm pretty sure they can't get up on, there's no way to get up on this roof, is there? There's no ladders. Um, they'll have to make something. So what we're going to do is this. I'm not going to spawn any loot in with this helicopter crash, um, but we're going to kind of leave it there as as a bit of fun. Okay, so there we go. So I think you'd be pretty happy with that, wouldn't you? As a custom location, a military break, um, helicopter crash on the top of the building, and some things. So what we're going to do now is we go file, export. And this is the really clever stuff. Export to map group pos.xml. Then we scroll down here and we're going to go Berezino um, Barracks. We're going to export that. 
and we're going to file export oops, export to com dot star dot json all right and then we're going to call that berezino barracks json and export that okay now we're going we're going to leave this running in fact let's save Right, we're going to come out and what we're going to do is we're going to go into um you want to go into your documents and then we want to go into daisy and then editor and then we've got here we go so we've got berezino barracks and berezino barracks json so let's open these up in notepad plus plus let's open up the other one as well okay so let's move that to there So, you may remember, so this is the JSON file that we created to start off with, with the correct format for the way that everything is meant to be done. So, it's meant to be objects, name, pos, and YPR. The export we get from um, a DAISY editor isn't quite right. Some, it's almost there, but some of the bits are different. You can see it's got some scene objects, param, param2, param3. But every, the important stuff, which is the X, Y, Z... And the uh, your pitch roll or the roll pitch your they're all in there, so you can see. So that's really really cool. And then if we go to the um, map group pause export, this is almost right, but it's not quite right. So it gives it this important stuff. So you've got the names there of the land mill barracks, the containers, um, and the wreck. Um, but unfortunately, it gets the roll pitch your in the wrong direction. So your which is rotation should be there. So we're gonna to have to swap that out round. Also, it doesn't give us the A figure for the for the for the other rotation. So it's almost all there. So what you can do so what we can do now is we can now, can now start copying stuff over. So as you can see, so we've got Param Land Mill Barracks. So we can just copy all of this. Sorry, Land Mill Barracks. Copy that. into that so name landmill barracks five and then we can copy those remember to do the your pitch and roll Then we've got land container. In fact, I just want to check something. Just go into the server. Let's just open up map group pause. Just want to make sure that we've got a reference for that container land container one mo so let's just search for that yeah okay that's good you've always got to be careful that the things you're spawning in on your custom file are that they have references in the map group pos.xml because the map group pos xml that's the file that tells the uh, server look at this location there's there's a military container um it's at these coordinates at this orientation please spawn some bits in it so if that land container wasn't there i could i, I might be able to spawn the thing in you know, it might be say a Livonia uh, asset, and I'm trying to spawn into Chernus. But if if it's not in the map group pos, it could well be that we can't. It makes it more difficult to spawn loot in. But that, but it does. So so that's good. So so that's good. So that's all right. So we can scroll down to here. So we can then copy this. So. Your pitch roll. Another land, another container. Oh, 
those coordinates. These your pitch rolls. Then we've got another container. These coordinates. These your pitch rolls. Okay. Now, as you can see, we've come to the end, and in our, in our example that we copied over from the Bohemian Interactive site, we've run out of um, um, we've run out of entry. So what we can do is we can just copy this one from the uh, open squiggly brackets to the closed squiggly brackets. Copy that. Insert it into here. Um, and that then means that we can then go to our rec UH1Y. So copy that. And we're going to put that into Let's just make sure we've done this right. So 13027 one three oh two eight one three oh two right so this is the duplicate one so let's put that onto there uh, we've got these paste that into there copy them copy them into there Okay, then we save that. Now, what we can do, we can now get rid of this top bit here, this description from uh, the people who wanted it. Let's get rid of that. Okay, let's save that. Now, what we want to do now is we want to go to a uh, JSON validator, and I'll put a link so let's go down. And we want to just to make sure that, that file is correct. So let's just go into our custom. So here it is, Berezino Barracks. Let's just paste that in there and let's process it. And it's valid, okay? So we haven't made any mistakes. Um, so what that would mean is then, uh, if there was, it kind of tells you what you've done wrong and you can make a correction. Most of the time, you will have copied and pasted something into the wrong, wrong selection. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make a reference to the Berezino Barracks.json that we've just created in our CFG Gameplay.json down here in the object spawner. What we need to do is down here, next to the two I've already got, we just need to put a comma, and then we need to put an ex um, inver um, quotation marks, then we need to put the name of the file. So if we just go in here, and then copy that, then go back to here, paste that in. There we go. So on this particular server, I've got an allotment Skiliski, I've got something at the Northeast Airfield, and I've got Berezino Barracks.json. So let's save that. Let's save that. And what we're going to do now is before we add the details for Map Group Pause, we're going to fire up the local server and just check it's working. All right, so let's just fire this. Um, let's go up here and let's start the local server. I'll put a link in the description in the, below the video about how to set up a local server as well. What that also means we've got to do is now we need to exit the editor. But hopefully you see how powerful the editor is. You know, and what, what you find is as you start using it and spawning things into the world, it's very addictive because you, you get ideas about what you can do um, and you, you start wanting to tell a story. The thing I would say is I probably got a little bit carried away there by adding the, you know, like the helicopter and do, did I really need to add all that stuff? Um, but, you know, it gives you good practice. Also, but I would also say when you first start off as well, um, keep it simple. Just do one building um, and that way you'll find it much easier to find um, mistakes. 
Okay, so that's closed down. So now what I can do is I can unload those. We can go to our server. We can go to our local server, which although says it's Namalsk, it's not. So this is a local server that's running on my local PC. Um, it's a fantastic tool. I'd recommend anybody, if you're a console modder, if you're a PC modder, modder always have your a local server that you can flash up because it's much, much faster than trying to flash up something in the internet and then having to upload files via FTP and then reset things. If it's on your local PC, you can test things. You can you can um, make sure things work. You can find mistakes a lot faster than you can as if, if you're trying to do it remotely all the time. You can test mod compatibility. Um, obviously, you can make gameplay videos if you want. You can have single player DayZ on it. It works just like it would as a server in the cloud, but it's only you and your local PC PC playing. This is always the sweaty moment now where you're thinking, have we made any silly spelling mistakes? Have we saved things in the right place? Did we save the files or not? Now, on my local server, I have got... I've, I've, got uh, admin tools set up so i use Z zomberry admin tools highly recommend zomberry um, because it's very simple to set up and it seems to be very very stable other people might like other config tools other admin tools i like zomberry because it, it always seems to work it's not the most powerful system but it, update after update it doesn't seem to break <laughs> which is you always want reliability with with your admin tools so here we go so we we've, we've spawned in Actually, we spawned in at Skaliski. Look, this is one of the custom... I've made like an allotment for someone over here with a water pump. Water pump's a bit wonky, though. So let's turn on God. Let's heal our character a little bit. Let's go to the map. We want to go to Berezino, don't we? Here we go. So here's Berezino. So let us... Let's spawn it. Let's spawn in over here. And let's see... Oh, our character's struggling a bit, isn't he? <laughs> We're in the right place. I think we're in the right place, are we? Where was it? Let's bring up I Survive. So it's next to the next to the petrol station. Oh, was it up here? Here we go. It was up here. And for some reason, it's not here. Interesting. So let's go back. Let's think. Right, what have we missed? What have we? What we? What have we done wrong? Uh, da, 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 da. We save that. CFG gameplay.json Berezino barracks.json all oh, looks good. Let's go into the missions folder. Berezino barracks.json is there. So it looks correct. Oh, there you go. I forgot to put the custom bit on the front. There we are. <laughs> so that is the actual proper um, address. Because the uh, custom JSONs are within a uh, folder, you've got to put custom for slash Berezino Barracks. So save that. So let's just shut the server down. That will then boot out. That's saved. Just make sure that's gone back to the proper menu. 
There we go, we kicked off the server. So let's go back to here. Start up the server again. Dum de dum de dum de dum de dum. Only takes a couple of seconds to start it up again. Hit play. And then with a bit of luck, we'll spawn us in. And we should hopefully, fingers crossed, see. We're already spawning in. You have to be very patient when you're modding stuff with, well, Daisy or, or anything. Unless you're from a professional um, computer background, like I am definitely am not. There's, it's so easy to make very, very simple mistakes. Like probably loads of you were probably screaming at the strip screen going there. You put the wrong um, address in there, Rob. Um, but if you do make a mistake, if something doesn't seem to work, you know, just stop take a breath and just go back through your working out and then just see see what should be there um and normally it is something really really simple like that like like that was you know the most um obvious thing it could have been was the fact that i, I put the wrong address in so the file was not accessing the um the the custom json in order to uh, display it um so so that it would appear in in our game here we go. You're playing a modded version of the game, which may play gameplay, performance, and stability. We are indeed. Right, and there we go. <laughs> it's always a relief when that happens. And look, there's a helicopter crash. So let's just do a quick sense check then. Now remember, there won't be anything spawning here. But how cool does that look? And there we go, and we're inside. And there's there's the grass clipping in the corner. So that's really good. So by testing that, we know that the buildings are spawning in. So the next step is, if I, let's just go and have a look at the helicopter. So there's the helicopter on the roof. Which is pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> is it a bit too much? I don't know. But what we'll do, let's put our character down there. Okay, so he'll be ready for when we do that. So that's good, so we know that's working. We know they're spawning in. Um, so let's quit out of that. So the next step now is to add in the, uh, the map group pause setting. So we can come out of this. Um, and we've already got map group pos opened up um, and what we can do is if we just copy these here leave some space and then how many elements have we got one two three four we've got five so we need five lines so we copy that we'll put that there Get rid of some of these spaces. Let's put a, a reason up here. So let's put a remark in. So left arrow bracket, exclamation mark, Berezino. Oh, sorry. Line, line. Berezino barracks. Two lines, arrow. Right, so that's a little comment. Right. So, so we're pretty good. So everything is written here. We just need to copy and paste the stuff on the uh, over the top, and we need to change the A values. And I'm going to show you that as well. So there's a lot of copying and pasting. So what we can probably do is let's get rid of that JSON because we don't want it to get in the way. Um, and then let us take that one. Let's copy that. And let's so that's the that's the other export one from um, uh, the Daisy editor, and let's just put that on top of there, like so. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add the A values. Just but these are just dummy A values, so we remember to do them. So I'm just going to copy that there from that A value, 
I'm just going to paste those over there. So paste. 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 There we go. So everything should have those values. So we know that the, the positions are good. The um, X, Y, and Z. So the longitude, latitude, and the altitude. They're right. First things first, we always know that the roll is in the wrong place here. So we need to change the R and put it where the Y is. Now, what, by the time you come and watch this video, Inclement Dab and his team may well have changed this over. Um, so it's c correct. And then we just need to make sure that we then put the zero there. Now, sometimes you may well have a roll, pitch, and yaw. There might be a, a roll and a yaw. In that case, you've just make sure you don't delete what you're doing. Make sure you copy it somewhere else. Now, if we get these figures wrong, what happens is the, the loot will kind of be floating in space in the wrong place. And the way that you know that these it is wrong is because it's roll, pitch, and yaw. So it's um, roll is, is left to right uh, roll, pitch is backwards and forwards, and yaw is the rotation. So you know with the building in day Z, it isn't going to be rolling over to one side like the Tower of Pisa. Well, more than the Tower of Pisa at minus 161 degrees, is it? So that can't be roll. It must be your. You know, so, so that's how you know that that's wrong. If you watch this video and they've changed it and that is zero, then you know they've, they've fixed it in editor. So we paste that there. See, but none of these we had to we had to make them lean over, did they? We say right, it's there. Okay, so the so the wreck actually, yeah. So we didn't adjust the rotation of the wreck at all. It was zero 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 all the time. So now we need to put in the a value. Now the A value is used to work out the rotation of stuff, but for some reason, don't ask me why, it's worked out in a different way to the to the your value. So what you do is you take the your value and you copy it into a your pitch rotation calculator that I've worked out. And I'll leave a link to this in the description down below the video. And you paste it in, and if the A value was positive, sorry, if the if the Y value is positive, you copy it out of that box there. So we just copy that. And we paste that into there. And then we copy that. Now in this case, the Y value is negative and it was over 90 degrees. So we take it from this box here. Actually, if we have a look at all of these, these are, these are all exa exactly the same. They've all been rotated by exactly the same amount. So we're very lucky in the fact that we can just copy that figure there. Being very careful. Let's just save that. There we go. We haven't got to do anything. All right. We do got to do the last one because actually we don't. So the, when the your value is zero, the A value is always minus 90 degrees because they're 90 degrees out of sync with each other. So we save that. Now, the next thing we want to do is before we mess around with it, we want to go to an XML um, validator. So let's go to uh, an XML validator. And then we want to choose the file. And it's going to be in common Daisy server MP missions Daisy offline generous custom. Sorry, not saying custom is it? Map group proto my group pause. Sorry. And then we validate that. Oh, here we go. Love the content I'm just going to go from. Oh, right. Have I made a mistake right at the beginning? 
Yes, look, I've put in two arrows there. So let's get rid of that. Let's save that. Go back to the validator. Click on it to make it go home. Choose the file. Map group pause again. Open. Validate. Oh, have I made another error? Level 29. There's an error there. Oop. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, have I? Oh, it's on the Northeast Airfield Evac. Oh, it's down by the that wreck. Okay. Should be a space there. Save that. Let's give it another go. No errors were found. Brilliant. So you see how important these are. I mean, I do this all the time, and yet I made two very simple errors. Okay, so let's just make sure they're saved. That's all in there. That's all saved. That's all saved. Now, I need to shut down my server. Oop. Like so. And like so. That will kick him off the server. Let's come out of there as well. Now, for some reason, when you're running a local server and you do these tests for um, making stuff uh, spawn in, you've got to delete the storage um, folder. Now, you don't have to do that when it's on a remote folder, but for some reason, I think it's... You, you might not have to do this You might, if you just leave, let your server run, but when you want to do this quickly, you need, if you delete that, it means that will, the central loot economy will spawn stuff in, and it'll, it'll all start much quicker. So now we're starting the server up again. We're going into Daisy. Let's just refresh the local server browser. Browser. Wait for it to pop up. There it is. Join. Set up DLCs and join. Now, what will happen now is my character will have been wiped and will be on the beach again. So we'll make sure we set him to God mode. And then we'll go to Berezino. We'll check that the, th the thing is there. And then you, you see how quickly we've managed to check everything on our local server. You know, if you were uploading this to the web to a remote server on Nitrido and having to you know, log in and check them and all this sort of stuff. And also, because we're not really running around that much, you do not need this server to be running at 60 30, or 30 frames a second. If it's just chugging along 10 frames a second, that's enough for you to be able to check things are working. And you get Daisy server free when you buy a copy of Daisy from Steam. Um, you know, so you just wait for Daisy to be on, on sale um, and then you... Uh, and then give it a go um and it really is uh, with daisy with daisy editor and with this uh, i mean i think we're just kind of seeing the the tip of the iceberg in terms of uh, how how things work and i mean i i haven't even got that much imagination when it comes to this sort of stuff um but even i when i'm doing these things and people are asking for like a barracks i'm thinking oh maybe we should put like um, some toilets around the back or you know a table or Maybe a tank or some well certain things you can't spawn in you can't spawn in um, tanks but maybe more things will become available for us to spawn in like some of the walls and, and, and things like that okay so we're down on the beach so toggle god go to the map go over to berezino let's go to the right place this time so it was there wasn't it here we go So let's just go in. Now hopefully some stuff has started to spawn in. There we go. Bingo. Things have started to spawn in. Remember how, how much spawns in will depend on the loot economy. There's a, there we go, there's a gun. 
slightly in the wrong place. That worries me a little bit, that. I wonder if we've got one of the coordinates wrong. Oh, no, that's right. They're on the bed. They're on there. Nothing floating in the sky. So, yeah, so I'm happy with that. That's cool. Let's go and check the container. Or containers. Remember this one? The stuff might be underneath the ground. Yeah, it's underneath the ground. But they can dig for that. Let's have a look in this one. Nothing spawned in here yet, which is fair enough. Let's go up to the helicopter. Oh, look, we can sort of see straight away this stuff spawned here. There we go. And so there, you know, so there we go. So there's some stuff that has spawned in. What might, what, I tell you, what might be strange about the helicopter is that the stuff spawns in quite a long way around the helicopter. So stuff might spawn in in midair. If you do spawn in a helicopter like this as well, yeah, it doesn't spawn in the dynamic event loot. It just spawns in normal stuff. Yeah, yeah, it'd be military items, but but there we go. But once you see one thing spawns in, so so that's cool. So I am. Let's just go back down here. If I tell you what, it's free camp. Ooh. I am pretty happy with that. If anything, what it really needs is more stuff over here, doesn't it? You know, to fill out this area. But that was it's a great place, that. Um, right, cool. So we know it all works. That's the beauty of using the local server. So, so what do we have to do next? Well, the first thing I've just got to remember is... So this was... We need to put this up on our server, don't we? So um, let us go over here. Let's go to the right server. It's not the PlayStation one we want. We want the Xbox server. Okay. So it's running a little bit slow. Go to the file browser. Go to the Daisy, Daisy Xbox missions. Daisy Offline Channelers Plus. Go into the custom folder. Now, so there's the Northeast Airfield Evac one. So we want to upload our extra file. So that should be in here. Ooh. Custom. Berezino Barracks. Let's open that up. So that is now there. That's good. Let's go back to here. Now we want to go into the CFG gameplay.json. So we're going to here. So there's the object spawner. Now this, this server hasn't got the allotments at um, uh, Skiliski. So we're just going to put a comma in there. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to copy that with the custom on it this time so co copy custom browsing barracks.json and we're gonna paste that in there custom browsing barracks.json just make sure it all looks right yep so we're gonna save that we're gonna go back here to the main root folder the next one we're going to open up is map group pos okay so map group pos it won't let us open it up so we're just going to download it like that click that button show in folder edit with notepad plus plus 
Now we knew there was a mistake down here, didn't we? Let's just correct that mistake first like that. And then let's go over to our correct one. So Berezino Barracks. Copy that. Oop. Sorry. Paste it into this one. Just check everything looks correct. Does indeed. So save that. Upload the file instead. Go to download where it was. That group pause. If you're not quite if you're not quite sure whether it's uploaded it, let's give it a sec. Dum -dum 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 -dum. So it says it has a bit. If you're not quite sure because you can't get in it to look at it, if you download it again. Well you should there we are. So so there it is. And that is it. You would just tell your, your survivors on your server, job done, um, and then hit restart server. Um, that is everything. So hopefully, people, that has been a useful exercise in going through and showing how we've used the um, Daisy editor to produce those uh, um, to produce those uh, coordinates that we've then put into our CFG gameplay.json, our spawn object spawner custom JSONs, and our map group pods so that stuff uh, spawns in loot. Um, and it's just, as I say, it's, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And I hopeful, hopefully, this stuff is useful. If people come up with a quicker way of doing this, please share it because <laughs> I'm not the best expert on these. But there we go. Um, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.